This is Twit. I had Inder Singh, who is the CEO of Kinza. I had a woman from a company called Electrolabs that does validation of consumer wearables for clinical studies. And then I had someone from Scripps Translational Institute, an epidemiologist from that. And they all got together and the topic was, hey, why didn't IoT see COVID-19 coming? And what can we do? So we talked about, actually, it did see it coming. We talked about <laughs> how we can make things better. Wow. We talked about privacy. That was really delightful. We had oh, a little gosh. disagreement. We talked about Ooh. what kind of devices you need. It, it was really good. It, I mean, it was Say more only, about it was privacy disagreement. Ooh, ooh. Um, it, it broke down exactly how you would think of it. Um, Dina, who used to work for Consumers Union, which publishes consumers report, Consumer Reports, was calling for, if we want to use this, she thinks that we should have a governmental rule around privacy and data protection. Uh, kind of like what you call for, Jeff, which is against malicious or problematic use of the data. Inder was like, mm, no, I think everybody should kind of opt into it. But if we have too much regulation, it's going to stifle innovation. You know, that, that old chestnut. Um, and so, yeah, it was it was really good. And so and nobody had to fly in. Yeah, You nice. didn't have to make uh, lunch for anybody. You didn't have to rent you know a hall. You know what I would really like to do? I think what? this would be amazing, and I'm not sure how to do it. But I would love if people paid and registered for an event. I would love to actually arrange something with like an Uber Eats or something to oh, bring deliver to lunch. House. That'd be cool. That'd be very cool. <laughs> Your box lunch will be arriving <laughs> shortly. Seriously, I just, I think like, or do something with FedEx so everybody yeah. opens up the same bag, you know, the, that day. Microsoft I, did that for Build. You know, they're doing their developers conference. Google skipped it last week. Microsoft Build's going on right now. And uh, to the, at least to the press, Paul and Mary Joe were talking about this. They sent, you got a packet that had like a Starbucks certificate in it and a few things to make <laughs> up for the fact that it isn't an in-person event anymore. I think you should do it in the evening, Stacey, with a little uh, recommended Stacey Gin. There oh, you go. Excellent. There we they go. They also, Microsoft also did digital swag. So they had a page where you could download wallpapers and stuff. So it's just, I think this is, you know, honestly, the Build Conference has been 10 times better because it was all online. Everything went faster, was more interesting, was more natural, was more human. So let me ask you, Stacey, why didn't or how did IoT predict it? So Inders, Inders His thermometers predicted it. His thermometers predicted it. He's like, yeah. we saw the spikes in temperature coming. We let people, or the spikes in atypical temperatures coming. We let health officials know. <laughs> and, you know, from there, things sort of happened um they one have of the a they have a map online healthweather.us that you can see atypical illness their thermometers have been handed out for a long time for flu you know uh for flu and cold so and colds. they had a program going as far back as i think 2014 you know it's funny i bought a kinza thermometer and i've been using it and then i was going through the drawers a couple of days ago and i found an old kinza thermometer that i've had for <laughs> years so I guess somehow that we participated in that somehow. Yeah, they well they gave it out to elementary age school yeah, children. Yeah. I mean, so I and we we, we talked about how do you get good population data, right? And their next effort is going to be sending thermometers out to underserved populations who don't have sixty dollars or twenty even twenty dollars to spend on a connected thermometer. Um, we also talked about uh, the need for how how to send more money to local areas. So we really need more of a local response for public health. So we talked about how to make that possible. And the other challenge is, and one of the reasons why, you know, I know Kinza says they saw it coming, but a lot of this isn't validated research yet. So right. we think mm -hmm. that we know mm -hmm. what disease looks like on a Fitbit, for example, but we don't have validated research and we're still getting that. 